Installation of bicycles, cavity wall. The bicycles and blocks will start from the ground floor construction and a thin joint system will build up from there. Getting this bicycles right is the secret to the whole thin joint system. The base course must be level and plumb and the rest of the courses will be right from here on. As you can see, we bed the base course into traditional sand and cement mortar. This thicker mortar bed has a bigger tolerance that allows us to even out any unevenness in the floor. The thin joint system starts from above the DPC. The DPC can actually be laid into the bedding mortar of the base course if required but usually it will be under the floor that you are building a thin joint wall onto. You can see that although I'm using traditional mortar for bedding, I'm already using the thin joint mortar on the perps. This gives a more rigid base course and is all part of setting out the base course properly. I'm using a rubber mallet to tap the block down into the mortar. You can use a club hammer, but there is a danger that you can damage the block. I always prefer to use a rubber mallet for this job. All you need to do then is check the level and upright of the block work. Range your level through the block work to check it is completely perpendicular. Once you have the base course absolutely accurate, you shouldn't need to level off any of the later courses of the blocks. The beauty of the thin joint system is that it will simply follow the line of the base course. Get that right and all the later courses will be right too.